Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Haven't posted in a little bit, but just a quick recap video here. Um, just a couple things here. We did not play very well, to be honest with you. Um, we just, we didn't do it. And that's disappointment. Uh, we lost to Georgia Big. Um, which I, I was sad about, so was the entire Florida community. But, um, that's just a quick thoughts on that. Thoughts on the Arkansas game coming up. A lot of recruits going to be there. But also, just want to quickly talk about Cooper Flagg, the 2024 basketball nation's number one prospect committing to Duke. He's raised the number one player to all four major recruiting sites. And Cooper Flagg is a Blue Devil announcing his commitment, I believe it was Monday morning. It was it was early Monday morning or Tuesday morning, but um took him over UConn, over Kansas. Those two teams vary in it. That's just something. Cooper Flag, 6'8, 195 pound beast. He's at, he's insane. He's only 17, 16. And number one player in the class. He's gonna be turning 17 too. But he's gonna be headed to Duke here early. He's gonna be a beast there, expected there. But so Florida and Arkansas, we need this win. If we win, we are both eligible. So we have a brutal schedule. We have Arkansas, then we have to go to LSU. They're ranked 14th. To Missouri, they're ranked 12th. Host Florida State, they're ranked 4th. Um, so Arkansas is a must win. I'll be perfectly honest here. We could fall 5-7. and seven. But obviously, we got a lot of recruits. LJ McCray will be back. Jeremiah Smith, the class of 2024 number one prospect, will be in attendance. That's a quick thing to monitor. Jeremiah Smith. Another quick thing to monitor. Jim McCray, a bunch of commits. Sam Nancy, the four-star safety, will be there. A couple flip targets. Jameer Grimsley will be there. Jared Gibson said he might. Charles Lester trying to make the trip. Jameer Grimsley will be there. A lot of guys in attendance. That'll be our biggest recruiting weekend. Obviously, the Florida State game will be big. So, this is a must win here. Let's. Uh, this is a must win. We have to come out. We have to get a win. This this is the game. We have to win in order to really do anything. I say. So, we have to win this game. We have to win, and maybe it, we got an upset against FSU here, maybe. I mean, let's be honest. I feel like we got that upset with FSU at home. I'll be there. I'm the good luck charm. Anyway, Cooper Flag commits. He's great. The week eight, the week nine, a couple, couple big upsets. George, North Carolina falls again. And then quickly uh, previewing week 10, but North Carolina falls again. There were some upsets here. But Kansas, baby. Rule Jayhawks. Lance Lee Ployd is doing everything down there in Lawrence. Kansas, knocking off OU. Got to be happy there for if you're a Kansas Jayhawk fan. The SEC, Alabama, LSU, previous huge matchup. Can Missouri beat snap Georgia's 38-game win streak? We'll see, but a lot of things to look forward to in Week 10. USC and Washington meet up. Bedlam, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. Got Kansas State, Texas, Missouri, and Georgia, and obviously LSU, Alabama marking five top 25 showdowns. In week 10, week 11, week 12, week 13, everything keeps on getting better, though. And then, obviously, but the season's flown by. I mean, November 11th, November 4th is the day. I mean, I feel like I remember when it was about starting. And, I, I mean, I'm just, I'm crazed. It's wild that this is already about to be over. I mean, just, just crazy. But I'm, 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 uh, I'm excited as the season continues to go on. I just, I want Florida to make a bowl. I feel like if we lose to Arkansas, there's a chance we can't make a bowl. But Arkansas is not a bad team. They're two and six, yes. But this, they, they've hung with LSU. They've hung with Alabama. They've hung with Ole Miss. If Mississippi State can beat them, we can beat them. Though we gotta watch out because this Arkansas team has played some very, very, very good games so far. As a two and six, they're much better than two and six. But that's just my quick recap video. And just gonna let you know, watch Cooper flag the highlights on this dude, man. He is insane. Duke getting a stud. Oh, and also Florida basketball. Four-star power forward. Sammy Yane, top 50, top 90 recruit. We'll be tuning tomorrow. Florida's in his top five, and I feel like Florida leads. So also watch out for that, and I'll see you in the next one.